Hello everyone and thank you for watching this channel. This is Open Discussions for Women. It is November 6, 2014. I am very excited tonight and if you are not viewing for the first time, I'm sure you know why. On my previous a video, I did November 4th, which was two days ago, um, I did a video in regards to God's view of abduction, and I did that video after learning that a young lady um, by the name of Carlisha Freeland Gathier from Philadelphia was abducted by a young man on Sunday night. I conducted that video um, in dedication to her and her family. And I also encouraged the, um, those who knew the Lord to just be praying for this young lady. And I am just so thankful to say tonight that Carlisha is now home with her family. She is reunited with her family and, um, or should I say that she's been found. Um, we know that she was in the hospital. Um, as I stated, this is not your first time hearing this if you're watching the news, but it is something to celebrate. It is something to celebrate because God showed up and showed out. This young man um, was, um, they have a warrant for his arrest for an attempted murder, um, along with various other types of things that this young man has um, committed in the past. So we do know that this young man was being used by Satan and that he could have very well tried to take this young lady's life. But it was by the grace of God that that did not happen, not for her in this situation. So we're just so thankful to the Lord tonight that um, we can come back and say that she is now home and, and safe. And Carlisha, if you're watching, we thank God for your life. We are so happy that you're back with your family. And we pray that um, you are very thankful to the Lord and are going to, you know, get to know the Lord better and get closer to God and get into a Bible-based church and um, fellowship with um, the believers. we just thankful for your life, Carlisha. So uh, God bless you. I'm going to go ahead and get into my session for tonight. My session for tonight is entitled Power of Prayer. The Power of Prayer. And I want to go to Psalms 145, 17 through 20. And I'll read that for you. And I'm reading from my study Bible. And it reads as follows. The Lord is fair in everything he does and full of kindness. He is close to all who call on him sincerely. He fulfills the desires of those who reverence and trust him. He hears their cries for help and rescue them. He protects all those who love him, but destroys the wicked. Now, viewers, can you agree with me that this is an awesome, awesome scripture? I am just excited tonight. I am just elated. This is an awesome scripture. Look, just two days ago, I was I was asking you all to be prayerful for this young lady, Carlisha, and look at God just revealing himself throughout the word tonight. He's saying that he's fair. He's fair in everything. He's saying that he's kind. He's a kind God. And he's saying that he, he sincerely wants to give us the, the desires that we have. And he fulfills the desires of those who reverence him. So those who trust him, who believe in him, who reverence him as God, he grants their heart's desires. And so you all, we prayed for this young lady and I thank God for granting our desires that she came home safely. Now, um, we do not take it lightly um, that the policemen, that the police force did their jobs. We're very great for, grateful for them also doing their jobs. But we're so thankful to the Lord for protecting this young lady, for protecting her life. And um, my very next scripture I will go to is Proverbs 15:29. Now, Proverbs 15, 29, it reads as follows. 
The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. How about that, you guys? Now, that's awesome, too, because that reminds us that the wicked, he's far from the wicked, but the righteous he hears our prayers. Now, that that should be words of encouragement in and of itself because that's to remind you that God hear you. When you're crying out to the Lord, he hear your prayers. Now, I want to encourage you all. Whatever you're going through, if you may feel that you're insignificant, if you feel like you're just not good enough, if you feel like you know you don't measure up, whatever battles you may have in your mind or whatever experiences that you have had in life, please note that God knows about it and he cares, he cares. He wants you to communicate those things with him. Keep praying and keep asking God for help and trust the word of God. The word of God says that he will answer your prayers, that he knows your desires, and he will grant your desires. Now, um, this night is just, it's just such an awesome night because this young lady has been through a lot but we have a night to just be thankful to god that her life was not taken in this situation so many so many others experienced things like this and they were not they did not have the same testimony but carlisha you have a testimony you have been tested and now you have a great testimony Am I saying that I'm glad this happened? God forbid, no, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is you have been tested and you have a testimony to share with some other woman of how God spared your life, of how God, even though you were in, you were right in harm's way, God did not allow your life to be taken. And we're so thankful for that tonight. All of my viewers, I want to just thank you all so much for uh, being consistent in your prayers. Um, I called quite a few people. I have been all over this world, so I have friends from all parts of the world. But I did call a few people and um, request that they start praying immediately for her. And I just thank them even for praying for this young lady's life because her life is spared. And we can truly say that our God is an awesome God. He showed up and he showed himself as a protector. Now, I know that this channel is being watched by the saved as well as the unsaved. And what do I mean by that? Those who have a relationship with the Lord as well as those who do not have a relationship with the Lord. Now, get this. God is so awesome and he is so concerned about you that he would allow you to see him move miraculously. God moves so quickly on this young lady's behalf. And I know that this young lady was abducted on Sunday, but I am so grateful that God, he moved quickly on this young lady's behalf. Oftentimes, people are taken and it's months and, and years and the family have no closure. And sometimes when they are found, you know, the situation is extremely sad. But we're so thankful that this situation was not the same. We'll th we are so thankful that this young lady came home safely. God moved on her behalf. He heard the fervent prayers of the righteous for the scriptures that I, I utilized on the fourth and the session from the fourth were second chronicles where God asked if his people will humble themselves and pray. He said that he would answer our prayers. Then will he hear from heaven and heal their land. Also in James 5, the scripture that says the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. And that's where the prayers of unity, those touching and agreeing, those prayers of agreement come into place. So we see God has moved miraculously and we give him all the glory, the honor and the praise tonight for that, you guys. So basically that was my topic for tonight. 
uh, the power of prayer. I will not close the session without also giving you all some tips because this channel is to de-stress, to encourage, to inspire, but also to educate. Okay, so I want to pass on to you all some tips that I think that are very important um, to avoid situations um, like this and also just for women's safety, I should say. So I'll read those tips off to you quickly. My first tip is try to prevent being out alone late at night. Try hard to do that. The second tip is you are never too old to tell a loved one of your whereabouts. Actually, some people may say, now that's just childish. No, actually, it's maturity. You want your loved ones to know that you're safe. So it doesn't hurt just to give a call and, and, and say, hey, I'm here and I'll be there in a in half hour or I'll be there. That way your loved ones will know exactly where you were. And, and if something of this nature try, uh, attempt to occur, your loved ones will have some sort of idea where you, where, where you were during the time. So the next um, tip would be always have an ID on your person. It's so important, God forbid, um, an accident occur or anything of that nature, um, you want to have an ID on your person so that um, the authorities may be able to quickly contact your loved ones. Um, next tip would be, if it seems impossible to get away from your aggressor, try not to be combative. Try to give the control to the aggressor. Because what you're trying to do is, is let the aggressor feel that they are in control so that they don't continue to do things that are extremely harmful to you. So these are just some tips. And my very last tip was if, if it's absolutely necessary that you go out late at night, try taking a friend. Now, I know that we're all adults and it may seem a bit... Um, a bit much to have to do all of these things but this day and age we need to be careful we just you know as women we need to be careful and the bottom line oftentimes women are preyed upon they they are looked at as weak and vulnerable and so we need to do whatever we can to protect ourselves in such situations so that wraps up my session for tonight now, I always, in every session, I offer Christ and um, just try to instruct those who are unsaved, do not have a relationship with God, um, as to what to do. If you are unsaved and you do not know the Lord, I encourage you to read Romans 10 and 9. That scripture is available for you to receive salvation. And then after receiving salvation, you want to share that with someone. Definitely you want to find a church home in your local community. Now, if you're looking for a perfect church, you should not start because you will not find a perfect church. There is no perfect church. We are all striving for perfection. Now, does that mean that we're not through Christ? We are perfect. We are made perfect through Christ. But each and every one of the churches in your community, there will be something that the enemy will try to make uh, at seem big as a distraction to keep you away. No, find a church home, get in that church home, stay there, be fed the word of God so that you can grow spiritually. And those are key factors that I always like to bring out in each one of my sessions. I want to encourage you. I want to inspire you. But more importantly, I want to ensure that you're saved. I want to ensure that you're going to spend eternity in heaven. So last but not least, I want to sum this uh, video up stating to you that you are beautiful. You are loved by God. God says that you are the apple of his eye. You are made in his own image. So you don't have to live up to what men think or what men say. Live up to what God says about you. You are a beautiful woman and, and 
God loves you. So with that being said, I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you were inspired or encouraged by this video. I pray that you all will continue watching. And if you like the channel, subscribe. Um, and I am also very open to your comments. So please do leave comments and I will try to answer your comments the best to my ability. Thank you so much and have a good night. myself in situations that may lead to complications worried about what's going on around me